Got finished getting my hair cut, so if the hairline is crooked, you can blame him. And if it is crooked, he do move a lot. <laughs> <laughs> guys it is a beautiful day today look at the sun going down the sun's just setting over there I'm excited listen I just get right to it I bought another car I've been looking for a while now I've been looking for about a year to be honest with you and um, I decided to just go ahead and do it for everyone who watches the channel I will be adding um, another channel that channel will be more about daily vlogs instead of uh get out of this car's way daily vlogs instead of just all motorcycle content this is kind of a snippet of what's to come and guys just to uh just to let you know even though i said it's going to have daily vlogging about my what's going on in my life Motorcycles play a big part of what goes on in my life, so you will always have some motorcycle content weaved into that. And a lot of it will be behind the scenes of things to come. With that being said, let me show you what I bought. My 2020 Gladiator, it is an Overland, so you have the navigation, the leather seats, um, cold weather package, LED lighting group. Those are different packages that you can add on to the Overland. It's totally different than what I'm used to driving. I came out of a BMW 550i M Sport and it was a nice, nice car, but I just wanted something different this time around. Never had a Jeep. I never considered even buying a Jeep until I saw the Gladiator. Now, the truth is the first time I looked at the Gladiator, I thought it was the ugliest truck I ever seen, but searching through the internet and seeing some gladiators fixed up i realized the potential that this this truck has and i want to i want to do some modifications to it so actually that's where we're going today we are headed to the tent shop to get the windows tinted there's no tent on the windows now except the back we're going to get the two front windows tinted to match the back this is what it looks like now this is about to change and i'll show you after it gets done let me get out and show you. So this is what it looks like with the windows not tinted. You see how the back is dark. It says um, right here, I think it's like 20%. And you can see how clear that is. So with it being black, we're gonna get everything tinted the way that it should be. I'm thinking, I'm even considering going a little bit darker on the rear, but for today, I think I'm just going to go with 20% on the front. And we'll see how that works out. The Gladiator, nothing done to it, completely bone stock. Today's first thing we're doing, tinting the windows. So let's go inside. We're here at Smoky Mountain Tinting. I have Cassie and Vanessa, and they're going to be tinting my Gladiator. How long do you think it takes? 30 minutes, won't take me long. So we have a couple different types of film. We have a standard dyed film. It's gonna be there for looks and privacy. It does have good heat rejection. The only thing with the dyed film is it could potentially fade between three and five years. Uh, we also have a carbon series film. It has better heat rejection, has better scratch coat on it. It's gonna protect your interior and that one won't fade. And we have a nano ceramic. That's the top of the line out of the three. It has the best clarity, signal friendly, and it's a security film. Okay. Price-wise, in between the three, you're looking at seventy, ninety, one, ten. Basically, it goes good, better, rest. Seventy is good. Um, you said ninety. This won't. That won't fade. Correct. Okay. And is that kind of matches what's on the back? Is yeah, that... that's what most people go with uh, to match their back half or okay. even to like even it up. Um, so your back half is out of smoked glass at a twenty percent. It actually doesn't have any UV or heat rejection on it. It's just colored glass. So a lot of people use a twenty percent to even it up. So the nano ceramic right here, which that's one? That's the top of the line. And that's one ten. The nano ceramic. Correct for just the two. That so, one's going to be a pretty cool process because I do have to actually hand cut all of that, oh. uh, so I don't use a plotter for it. Okay, so guys, I'm choosing from 
I think video. 15 is what I want to go. Will it show? Will it look totally so, weird? No, 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 definitely not. So your back end is about a 20%, but it's also enclosed. Uh, also, with yours being a truck and it having that back cab, uh, it's going to make it feel a little bit darker. So with the windshield that's allowing that extra little bit of light that it's letting in, uh, if you do go with a 15% on the front too, it is essentially cutting out that 5% difference, so it would still match because that extra light you're getting in the front. Yeah, let's go 15. Okay, we can All right. That. All right, so guys, that's what I chose. I chose the 15 nano ceramic, and um, you know, she said it's, on, it's not going to take her that long, but she has to hand cut that one out. All right, so she just cut that out, like, took her 10 seconds, and <laughs> she's putting the tent film on the outside. Oh, and that's it, just getting the width. Yeah, I think it's going to look good. It'll look super good when I'm done. Lift kits next and the tires next. So we're going to do this whole thing together. Yeah, I think that's going to look good. That was so quick. She just cut that thing out with a razor that fast and now it's ready for install. So what, what they do is she cut it out and then she put it on this window here and Vanessa is going to put it on that quick. And she is washing the window to make sure everything is off. I guess, is that what you're doing? Yeah, like, yes. drove the debris, ground, kind of make sure that the window is 100% clean. So we actually squeegee it. Uh, scrub it with an SOS pad, and then we razor blade it to make sure that there's no dirt, debris, grime that could get into your window film. Oh. They are putting on both of the films. They're trimmed on both sides, and they're putting both of the window films on the inside. Uh, you trim it on the, well, you measure it or trim it on the outside, and then you... So the reason why we put it on the outside of the window is because each window has its own curve to it, its own contour. So what the film is, is essentially it's, it's flat like paper. So you have to have it formed to that curve for it to lay down properly. Okay. So what we do is we put it on the outside of glass. We we'll usually heat it with a heat gun, make sure it lays down properly, make sure it has the exact contour to the window. And then it allows us to install it without having any wrinkles, any bubbles, any anything. Okay. See how it installs so clean? Yeah, look at that. And that's just because we shrunk it, cleaned it properly, installed, and we have certain tools that we use to install. And all those streaks and all those waves that you see, that's just from uh, the installs from where we use soapy water mm -hmm. uh, that will all solidify and all darken back up to a solid uh, like gray-black color. Okay. Yeah. So are you getting like a little bubble out or something? Yeah, so there's something small right here. It's called a crease. Just a little bit of heat, a little bit of pressure, a little bit of know-how. What do you think? I think it looks good with the tenant windows. What do you think? I have a lot of Gladiator content coming soon on the new channel that I'm going to start. I have plans for a lift kit, wheels and tires, and some other things. So guys, this is my first Jeep, and I welcome your comments and suggestions because I know I want to build it out like I did my Harley, but I'm not sure what direction I want to go. I know I want a lift kit, and I know I want to go with wheels and tires. So if you have a suggestion, please put it in the comments below. On the new channel, 
you'll see a whole lot more Gladiator content. It's going to be my day-to-day -day vlogging channel, and I'm not going to be talking about Jeeps only. Of course, you know I ride a Harley-Davidson motorcycle, and even though it's a vlogging channel, a lot of the content is going to be the behind the scenes of things that I'm doing with my Harley or installs or even videos that I'm shooting with it. So make sure you hit the notification bell to be notified when that channel is launched. Hopefully you enjoyed that video. I'm excited about my new Gladiator and I can't wait to get everything on it like I want it. I like it. I like it stock like that, but I can't wait to actually customize it and make it my own. So guys, I want to thank you for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more like it, please subscribe. Again, don't forget to comment about the new Gladiator. Give me some suggestions what I should do to it. Um, it's going to be an interesting winter. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, have a blessed day.